Hi, and welcome to this new screencast on the admin console of Glassfish 3.1. This is for Milestones 3, so this is work in progress, and this is showing clustering support in the admin console. The admin console has been one of the popular features of Glassfish, and it's being brought up to the new features of Glassfish 3.1. If you don't have any clusters set up, the deployment of an application is very similar to what you would have had in previous releases, namely in 3.0. So you can deploy a WAR file uh, the typical way and the way you used to do this. And once uh, the WAR file is deployed, you can launch it, you can link to it, and you have two tabs here, general and descriptive, which lists the file descriptors. Now, uh, with Glassfish 3.1, there's this notion of nodes, which is what you uh, need to have on a single machine to be able to um, operate on Glassfish installs. So I've just created here another node locally, uh, which I could have created remotely using SSH. Now I'm creating a cluster, which I call cluster ABC with two instances, X-Wing 1 and a second one, which I'll call X-Wing 2. And for the purpose of this demo, X-Wing 2 will actually be linked to the other node. So this creates the cluster, uh, which is not started at this point, but I can navigate through uh, its configuration and note that I didn't have to provide any ports to any of the instances. So I can list through the instances, X-Wing 1 and 2, and see how they point um, to config ABC. So going back to the cluster, I can select the cluster and start it as a whole, which will uh, start all the instances, um, those two that we have defined in this uh, particular case. So this may take a while. Uh, in our case, uh, we're, we're now done. Uh, of course, we can create another cluster, in, in, in this case, cluster XYZ, create that cluster without any instance and add instance after the fact. So navigate to the instances tab and create a new instance, which we will call here uh, instance one. And now we have a single instance cluster, which we can now delete, which will in turn delete um, instance one itself. You don't have to delete all the instances individually. So let's move to another topic, which is standalone instances. These are not instances that are part of a cluster. So we can create one, which we call standalone instance one on localhost, which uses the default conf config. And now we have one which is independent of any cluster, which we can start. And it has its own configuration, which was derived from the default configuration. So once this is started, it takes a few seconds more. There we are. Um, we can move to the applications node, which is where it gets interesting because not only do you have everything to deploy an application, but you have the targets for that. So either standalone instance or the cluster itself. So deploying the same WAR, same web application, you can decide to deploy it uh, not to server, which is the DAS, the domain admin server, but say to the standalone instance and click on OK. And this actually deploys the application. So there's one target for this application. Um, so we now have this additional target tab for a given application. So we can decide to disable this on uh, the different targets, just the standalone instance for the time being, or click on targets and decide to deploy this to cluster ABC as well. So which means this is now deployed to all the nodes of the cluster. Now we can decide to enable again uh, the application on standalone instance one. So if you click on enable on all targets, you can see that it's on cluster ABC, standalone instance one. And now we're also adding back server, which is the default name for the DAS. So now that we've done this, we'll conclude this demo with some monitoring um, capabilities. So we need to decide what kind of monitoring we want. So we, we have a number of um, 
things we we put to uh, a high level of monitoring, such as uh, thread pools and, and other things. And once we have that, and this is dynamic, no need to restart the server, we can go to the monitoring tab of server um, and see that now we have a number of information about the threads, the JVM and the memory statistics uh, that it offers. And if you go to uh, this application, which happens to be the web console itself, there are a number of information there as well. So to conclude the demo, we can stop the cluster, which will stop all the instances and as well as select this and delete the whole cluster, which in turn will delete the instances that are part of it. So this concludes uh, the demo uh, for the web console for Glassfish 3.1 and how it supports now um, clustering. So as you see, there's no need to go to the command line interface, which is obviously still available for more fine grain uh, configuration. Anyhow, please download um, Glassfish 3.1, Milestone 3, and give us some feedback. Thank you.